Okay, there's this elusive term, you know, breath support or diaphragmatic breathing. Uh, people that do yoga are already very familiar with it because they teach this as a relaxation response um, in yoga, the way you would breathe in yoga. But I want to just demonstrate it for you so that you can specifically see how it's done instead of trying to figure it out and read all these diagrams and watch a bunch of YouTube videos. Uh, this is exactly how we breathe. First, we just discussed proper posture. We're going to sit up and stand up straight. Okay. In fact, I'm going to stand up um, and I'm going to show you the correct way to take a breath. Okay. Now, our rib cage is already expanded. Now, when we normally take a breath, we take a breath like this with our chest, right? And our lungs up here again. Well, that's not the way we take a breath when we sing, okay? When we sing, we actually already have our rib cages expanded about half to three quarters full. So I'm already kind of full like this. But my breathing comes from my lower third and fourth abdominal uh, muscles all the way down to my groin area, like this. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, notice my chest is not moving. Notice I'm not tilting my spine in any direction. I'm standing straight up. Let's do it again. Okay, now I want you to practice this because we're going to do a scale right now, a very simple scale. And the scale is going to include this diaphragmatic breathing. Now, our chest, again, is going to stay three quarters full. You're not going to see me go <sighs> like this, okay? You're going to only see me breathe from this area. Now, I'm going to later bring in a second component to this kind of breathing, but it's a little too early to discuss that now, and I'll tell you why later. But we're going to breathe in from the lower end of our stomach here, which is in through the diaphragm area down below. Like I said, below your third, fourth abdominal muscles, just above the groin like this. We're going to go, huh, huh. Okay, now I want you to notice what I did was between each each time I took our I sang a note, ha 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 right. I took a breath, I relaxed, right? I, I brought in, I, I took my breath, ha, and then I relaxed. I didn't lock down the muscles and lock down the stomach because what will happen is, is if you don't do this and practice this with regularity, maybe even get your fingers in there and kind of grind in and massage that mu uh, muscle structure, um, there'll be a tendency to get bound up and then you're gonna revert back to your old ways of singing from your chest and the goal here is that this is the engine that drives your ship. It does all your work for you. It's to do this is in order to be able to relax the chest, the neck, and the throat so that we get no tension from the chest, neck, and throat so that this does all of our work for us. If all of a sudden we start finding ourselves straining and pulling and this thing and that, and check, check again and make sure that you're doing this correctly. And I'm doing this step by step so that you can have your own checklist to check step by step and continue to go back through what we're discussing here to make sure you're doing this right. Folks, please don't watch this video once or twice and think you got it all because you heard me talk wah, 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 and think you're going to walk away being able to combine all of these things and have them work together in concert to actually help you to be the best singer that you can be, okay? So I say that refer back to the video, refer back to the video, go through it again, make sure you're doing all the steps correctly. I can't be with you 24 seven, you're gonna have to get your own checklist out and monitor yourself, okay? So as we get going a little further on, and we're gonna do this uh, in volumes two and volumes three, it's gonna be a little crazier. We're actually gonna do some exercises like this. You can try them now if you can do it, great. Uh, which are gonna be, <laughs> right? And we're going to do this in order to be able to have you be able to have that relaxation response to relax the diaphragm between each time you take a breath. Otherwise, it will get bound up, and then you're just going to put all the tension and pressure back into the chest, back into the neck, and back into the throat. Okay? Let's continue. <laughs> 